It's test match history. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. And he's done it. Welcome to the highlights of the second day's play of this Cornhill Test match at Headingley, a day where the Australians started off at 203 for three. Kim Hughes, 24, and Ray Bright, one. He came in as night watchman yesterday evening. The forecast for the day, I'm afraid, wasn't good. They said it was going to be dry early, and then we were likely to have some rain interruptions a little later on. Well, Kim Hughes, the Australian captain, picked up a single in the first over bowl this morning, and here he is now facing the second over. Graham Dilley is the bowler. Hughes has gone to 25, and the total to 204 for three in the commentary box at Ted Dexter and Christopher Martin Jenkins. That's in the air, but safe, and it may beat Boycott. Hit very hard by Kim Hughes. It didn't seem to take an awful lot of trouble to hit the ball down, but uh, there was a big gap between third slip and gully. In fact, it looked as though he was deliberately hitting it up. Yeah, and that got what it deserved. I'm afraid a fine shot by Ray Bright. Thirty-three to Hughes, seven to Bright, two twenty for three. Four overs gone with the second new ball. Last man out yesterday evening was uh, John Dyson. Oh, well, well, well. Not often he's bowled it straight. And he's had the pleasure of uh, giving the crowd another little signal. But you've got to be a very good bowler to be able to do that to the crowd, they generally have the last word. Ray Bright has gone, Paul Dilly for seven, it's 220 for four. Very good delivery, this. Swinging a little bit away. And very, very good delivery. And there's Graham Dilly following through and giving the crowd the old hi-ho. And I don't think he's really entitled to do that. There's three good deliveries from Dilly to Yallop. for Gower had he been able to dive away to his right and get the hand to it. But it was beautifully timed by Kim Hughes. Very good shot, way through mid-wicket. That outfield is still quick despite the rain. Quick enough for Hughes to pick up three. Field setting there, David Gower is the man away at uh, cover point. It's well bowled and pretty well played in the end. It could have gone anywhere and in fact, Hughes managed to keep it out of uh, the clutch of the three slips in the gully. And this one really took off. Very short, but it really climbed very, very high. And Kim Hughes did extremely well to keep it down. It was interesting to see that his cap flew off then and very nearly went on the wicket. Willis has made one or two really bounce and rear here, and this one leaves the bat. A terrific delivery. Oh, 
Well, it must have been close. He shuffled across, whether it had pitched outside, perhaps the uh, playback will reveal. I should think probably getting the benefit of the doubt for playing forward, possibly going a little bit down the leg side. Good delivery, though. Uh, full toss in fact but he waited for it to bounce and just eased it away on the half volley no one down there four runs thank you very much <laughs> oh dear Wes is having no luck generally made a rather more confident looking start than he has at other times in this series 11 to him now bringing up the 250 in the 17th over with the new ball well just the one no wicket went down there this morning Raymond Bright the night watchman bowled by Graham Dilley for seven Kim Hughes 46 not out and Graham Yallop, 11 not out. Hughes batted pretty well, presenting the full face of the bat for most of the time. One or two found the outside edge, and Graham Yallop, although he started a little scratchily, was looking much better towards the luncheon interval. 250 for four then, Australia at lunch, and they lost 35 minutes play because of rain in that session. Well, they just had time uh, for seven minutes play after lunch, in which six runs were added to take it up for 256 for four. They had to come off again for rain. The umpires got them back on as quickly as possible. Just a no ball added when Graham Dilley came in to bowl again to the Australian captain, Kim Hughes. The first voice you hear is that of Peter West. Then it'll be Ted Dexter and Christopher Martin Jenkins. What a fine shot. Head down, perfectly still, belted it through the covers. And that's his 50. A tremendous shot by Kim Hughes. It looked like four runs, just as well for England. But Peter Willey was in the path of it. He really got hold of that, Kim Hughes. A real rank short one here, short and wide, absolutely in the slot for a cracking square cut, which it got, but he hit it straight at Peter Willey, whose fingers he's stung. He really was going like a rocket. That tells it all. Whereas uh, Dilly only had two slips, there are now three slips in the galley for Chris Old. That's a short leg as he bows to Yallop. cut it off, almost cut his foot off on the rope at the same time. And that's going to be four runs. It was in the air. And 
poor Chris Old just simply has not had any luck at all. after it and just gets them. Three more to Graham Yellow. That's oh no Graham Gooch dropping what can only be described as a sitter. First chance of the day but the fourth of the game so far to go down for England. And Gooch seemed to see it all the way. And then he had another chance. Chris Old. That's for running the outside edge quite regularly, Chris Old. Three hundred for four. Seventy seven Q's, twenty nine Yallop. Good shot, Bob Willis is the man at third man. keep off the pitch. There are just uh, three more runs added up to T there to take the total along to 309 for four. Kim Hughes, very steady, straight batter all the time, 81 not out. And Graham Yollop, well, he was under a lot of pressure when he came out to bat this morning, and he did extremely well up to tea time to be 34 not out. We pick up play now in the second over after tea. Bob Willis is the bowler. He's coming in from the grandstand end, just one run added and the batsman is Kim Hughes. In the commentary box, Tom Graveney and Christopher Martin Jenkins. Oh, yes, good shot. First bounce into the crowd at mid wicket. Oh, he could be out, both of them underneath. He's caught it, and that's the end of Kim Hughes's innings. A leading edge, he was looking to turn it on the onside somewhere wide of mid on, and both of them swinging it as indeed he has all day, and at last, England getting a ball to go to hand and not only that, but catching it, and he could hardly have dropped it. So Hughes out for 89, a very fine innings indeed. Wasn't such a good delivery, and Yellow put it away very well to get his 50. A thoroughly worthy innings. And that's a good way to open your account. Lovely, satisfying off drive by Alan Border. Dennis Lilly looking forward to the opportunity to bowl on this pitch. It's a very well fielded by both of them, and he's done himself no good at all there. He had to do it, it had to be thrown because there's a chance of the run out. You can't pull your throw in a situation like that. And 
here it is and there was a great mix up in the calling here stop start stop start and there's no doubt that if Ian Botham had hit the wicket there Yallop would have been two yards out but it certainly hurt him and uh, on the field that little figure there in the crowd Jeffrey Boycott just becoming more visible now signing a few thousand autographs not far away he didn't go all that far forward I don't think and both of them once again swinging that ball into the left hander he was beaten by the swing both of them third wicket and a good one to take after injuring that arm once again. <laughs> Must be gone. Both of them struck again. 58 to Yallop. Australia now 357 for seven. Oh, look at that uh, dismissal. Very, very faint edge, that one. Get into the more faint, in fact. 357 for seven. Yallop out for 58. Rodney Marsh is on two. Oh, that's well hit. And really, Chris Old had no chance of picking that up. It was a brave effort to go for it. But that was hit fiercely down the ground. Well, a Rodney Marsh special, that one. Flurry of activity among spectators. Oh, beautiful stroke, Rodney Marsh. Absolutely effortless. victims so the partnership working wonders again and Jeff Lawson the eighth man out having made a very useful 13 and holding them up for a further three quarters of an hour for Australia and that's a very good effort in this third test match Kim Hughes having won the toss and batted now with the sun out and the chance of 10 minutes at the England batsman well another nice big swinger right up in the block hole there and nice leg stump Yorker which uh, got Rodney Marsh just round and over the ball and in fact uh, wiser thoughts have prevailed and in fact the closure has come it's a very good declaration from uh, Kim Hughes 401 for 9 Hughes himself making 89 Yallop 58 and Marsh hit strongly for 28 towards the end and uh, it gave Hughes the chance to have just a couple of overs at uh, Gooch and Boycott towards the end play went on to 7 o'clock this evening because there had been an hour's uh, play lost due to rain earlier in the day the England bowlers I thought Bob Willis struggled a little bit today no wicket for 72 
Chris Old, none for 91, was unlucky, and Graham Dilly picked up two wickets without ever really having his line as he would have wanted it. Ian Botham, six for 95, 39.2 overs and 11 maidens. He was the star of the show, and I thought did very, very well today. Showed a lot of courage with that arm injury, and Peter Willie bowled just uh, the two overs early in the day, and then wasn't asked to come in again. The England openers, Gooch and Boycott, made seven between them. Gooch making two, and Boycott uh, is not yet off the mark. And uh, that seven has uh, just gently reduced the England deficit. <laughs>